Welcome back to my course, uh, Introduction to ArcGIS. Uh, let's open the Arc Catalog itself. So I just opened it. And uh, let's start the tutorial, making tutorial. Start Arc Catalog and select the folder that contains your spatial data in the catalog tree for uh, fol uh, folder uh, spatial data sets. Set the view window to uh, setting to contents. So let's uh, open the document, uh, the folder spatial data sets. You can open it uh, from here uh, with this uh, icon of the folder and the, uh, the black plus. I will, uh, I, I uploaded all these uh, documents uh, that which I am using. Uh, which I'm using in uh, the document, uh, in the, f uh, the course uh, files. So uh, here is our uh, uh, folder, spatial data sets. Uh, you may, you remember here that it's a catalog tree. It's easy to use. It, uh, it really looks like a tree. So you go to one folder and there is a containing folders and you go to the other folder. Uh, and here on the tab of uh, on the view window, you can find all the uh, spatial data sets that the, this folder contains with uh, icons and uh, uh, type of a fold, a type of a file. So let's uh, read the first uh, question. Write down the different type types of this folder. So uh, how we uh, will uh, how we will uh, work on this tutorial. Uh, so uh, I will show you step by step how to use, uh, how to fulfill the tutorials. Uh, we will, uh, I will show you how to work with uh, software. I will show you how to answer to these questions. Uh, we will make print screens. We will uh, write uh, text for certain uh, questions, etc. So for for this uh, first question, we should uh, make a table. Let's let's first uh, just uh, screen the screen the window view window and see that uh, the folder contains uh, the folder I just uh, put uh, pushed here to, to type and it is uh, sorted with a certain uh, fold uh, uh, file file type so at first we, we, sh we see that this kind of icons and uh, here is uh, the type of this icon represents the liar liar type of file and here we can also see this kind of uh, grid. It's uh, not hard to guess that this is a raster data set. So this kind of uh, icons represent the raster data set. And also we can see that uh, this kind of icons, so they look different. Uh, they all represent shape file. And uh, the, la the, la the, the last one is uh, this XML document. So uh, we will not uh, use actually in, in this course this document. So but basically we will work with this kind of, with these three types of files. This folder doesn't represent any type of spatial uh, file, spatial data set. So basically we, we will work with uh, We'll work with uh, uh, liar. Uh, we'll work with uh, we'll work with a raster data set, and we'll work with vector data set. So uh, so uh, let's make a table at first. Let's make a table, and here we will uh, write a f uh, file type. And uh, we will do, uh, uh, let's uh, add another, uh, another uh, column, file type, I will write here icon. And I will write here example. Example. So uh, first is layer file, it's the first type of uh, file. Second is shape file, uh, shape file, and uh, the third one is actually it is written not separately, and the third one is raster. Oh, it's written here raster data set, right? Data set. So, 
and here uh, for um, for this uh, for execution of this uh, column we will uh, cut we'll use snipping tool and just to just to make a um, actually we will uh, we're, we don't uh, we don't need this uh, we don't need actually this column so actually we uh, it's uh, we need uh, two columns uh, so I will put it here as an example right so we can, you can see that a layer file looks like this right uh, this kind of icon and this is the example with the th extension layer after dot the second is shape file you can you can um, just actually uh, just copy and cut uh, any type of shape file we will talk about uh, three types of shape shape file uh, in the, this question uh, i will explain the difference of uh, the uh, shape files types of shape file and uh, the last one is uh, for instance uh, raster data set them so uh, you can see here that uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, we will use three types of uh, spatial data sets uh, layer file shape file and raster and within this course uh, we can also we, there should can be also tables uh, in extension of the base table it can be xml documents etc but basically we will work with this so the second question the shape file is arcmap storage uh, type of vector data set so uh, uh, you should uh, learn the difference between the vector and raster data set as you know and uh, probably know that raster contains from cells a raster data set contains from cells uh, called pixels so and each pixel has its own resolution so raster is much more simple than vector but it's uh, much more widely used for instance the image uh, we and the photos and which we upload to instagram and which we make uh, with our camera cell phone camera actually can is a raster types of images uh, the vector difference a uh, little bit more different it contains of geometric objects three types of geometric object objects the first one is points the second one is lines and the third one is polygons so uh, the shape file which is actually the the extension of vector data set uh, 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 can be uh, it's uh, actually a vector data set so it can be only a point or a line or a polygon so it cannot we cannot mix all three vector types of uh, three, three types of vectors in one data set and I don't exactly know why is the reason for that but s3 uh, just uh, uh, just uh, divided uh, vector uh, data set into three types and we cannot merge them into one data set so you should remember this so uh, let's make a table again uh, we we need uh, only two columns don't need it here so uh, this is uh, for instance a uh, type of uh, of shape file I will write uh, in brackets vector so uh, remember that uh, shape uh, Uh, vector uh, vector is a, a is a geometric object, so uh, you can use either vector or raster data set. You can use both of them, but when you uh, trying to make operation from both uh, from raster or vector data set, uh, you should uh, convert them to into one format. We'll talk about it later in you know, on later courses. I will explain you uh, how to you do this. So type of shape file vector, and this is a uh, one one column is example right so uh, we'll have three types of uh, shape files so it's a point one is point second is line third one is polygon so and uh, let's continue where we stopped so um, um, so uh, the point we also use for this is a snipping tool uh, we uh, the point uh, looks like this 
the icon of a point uh it's easy to and uh, it is easy to understand to distinguish the dots so the the point vector contains from just points or dots uh for as exa as an example we just uh, uh we for, for using point vector for instance we can make uh we can find locations of cities, we can uh, draw locations of cities, we can draw locations of wells, and we can draw locations of, uh, for instance, uh, telephones, etc. So just uh, uh, the, the information which can be represented as point. So uh, the point vector uh, data set actually uh, not quite often used in ArcGIS. Mostly we use either a raster data set or a vector polygon data set or all uh, the second type of uh, vector data set is line it's used more quite more often for instance uh, for instance we can make we can show uh, streets and other types other uh, infrastructure with the lab uh, with line vector trails streets roads paths etc and the third one is uh, the most widely used uh, for in, uh, type of vector uh, is a polygon vector. With polygon, we can draw anything uh, in, in ArcMap. For instance, we can draw regions, we can draw countries, we can draw uh, real estate, uh, and uh, what else? Uh, we can draw some environmental uh, areas, etc. So uh, let's go to the second question. Select the country data set in the catalog tree. It's at the view window uh, setting to preview. Uh, a map of uh, the country appears showing uh, all features of this data set. Click the preview drop down arrow and choose the table view. So let's uh, let's first go find uh, the country. Here's the, our country. It's a vector polygon data set. So let's go to print preview. Here is our map, the, the map of our country. Uh, so let's make a print screen and show that we could, uh, we, we made this uh, exercise. And also uh, here we can find in a preview in, in the bottom of the view window, uh, geography table, 3D view, globe view. Uh, it asks us to the the exercise asks us to go to table, and uh, here uh, you um here we can see the the table attribute table of the spatial data set. I should mention that uh, in ArcGIS mostly uh, the spatial data set contains from spatial information and tabular information which is also often called the attribute table so like this right uh, the attribute table spatial information and uh, attribute information also it can also contain the information about spatial coordinates but not always uh, and so, uh, also we will work as the arc in arcgis we can work in just with tabular information like uh, attribute tables like this right or also we, we can uh, the the spatial data set contain all the spatial information without tabular information so remember mostly uh, we will work with spatial in data sets that contain both spatial information tabular information and geographic information but uh, spatial data set can contain all the spatial information without ta uh, tabular information. We can also work with the tabular information without spatial information. This is, this is not spatial data set, this is just attribute, uh, just, just tables, attribute tables. And also uh, uh, we can work with the spatial data sets without coordinate system, any just coordinate system. We will should we should reference uh, make georeferencing of this spatial data set to a certain uh, 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 map with a coordinate system. We will work. We will talk about this on the later the later tutorials how to georeference maps. So uh, how many records does the table contain and how many fields? So uh, the it's a question. How many tables and how many fields? So uh, how many? Mm, 
records and how many fields records are the horizontal and tables are vertical so we can find that uh, from here we can go to the bottom and see that there is uh, 166 uh, uh, objects polygons but actually it's 167 because we should count also zero here so uh, uh, we have 167 records and how many fields we have uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen uh, thirteen fields 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 are all also called attribute data or um or just attributes actually we should differentiate between fields and attributes because attribute is the name of the field for instance the name of this field is fid the attribute of this field the attribute of this field is shape etc but the field actually it's the information that the, uh, the this uh, field contains this column contains so add a field to the table using the options button enter the capital uh, in the name of field of the window so uh, uh, choose text from the drop down uh, menu of the type field chain to the, the field to the length 10 so let's uh, create a new field we can all in our catalog we can create fields uh, add new field we can delete field uh, uh, etc so our catalog has uh, actually several options which can be very useful so let's go to options here there is a icon or options uh, icon and here we can find add field button push to add field and write uh, for instance uh, just name uh, or new field new field Uh, we can here is the types of, of data which the field can contain short integer long integer, integer flow double text and date so short integer and long integer are the same data sets but with the different range it can contain only uh, rounded values like 1 uh, 0 1 2 10 5 1 thousand 1 million etc float and double can contain also uh, information with the commas for instance, 1.5 minus 10.9, etc., etc., etc. Text is textual information, and the date is a date. So we can find. I can. We should choose here text, and uh, the length of the text can be 10. So maximum types of uh, letters we can write within this field information in the records of this field will be 10. All. So let's click OK, and here is our new field. Let's make a print screen and show that uh, we uh, we did this exercise. The list of fields that, that you just added. It's uh, it's easy to do. We can we just push to the attribute of the, this field. Uh, click the right button of a mouse and find here delete field. Yes, we deleted this field. So uh, we can uh, make a print screen again, but it's not necessary. But uh, just here right uh, I, I show that I just deleted the field so a third the province names uh, field num scanning how many records belong to the province to, of Jizak so uh, let's uh, find the let's find uh, the field attribute Jizak uh, the, the attribute num and uh, we can sort it with uh, with this button right click to right button of a mouse and push to a scanning so the our field uh, is uh, sorted by a scanning and we should find this uh, Jizak region and uh, the question is uh, how many records uh, belongs to the province Jizak so we can again use the snip snip uh, snipping tool just passed it here and just continue so uh, the, uh, the Jizak region the number of records which belong to Jizak region is uh, 13 so now go to soil map data so what is the total area 
of it, uh, hint use the statistics function by clicking on the column heading with the right mouse button. So let's find soil map. Here is, it is on the table of contents. And we have here the area field, area attribute. And uh, to find the total area of a soil map, we uh, will use statistics function by right clicking on the button. And here we can find statistics, just the total sum of all the polygons. Here uh, we can see that it's uh, uh, more than 2,333,000 square meters uh, which polygon contains a feature that has an area of uh, which has an area of 87 square meters what is the total value of the attribute fid of this feature so uh, let's uh, make a sorting and see that uh, the fid of uh, this uh, polygon is five using snipping tool here. Yeah. So what does the attribute FID represents? So uh, FID is uh, represent, uh, FID, we can, you can find uh, this attribute only in vector data set. You, can find, you cannot find it in Varasta data set. So FID polygon is uh, automatically, uh, automatically uh, written by uh, ArcGIS. So we cannot delete here if I, this attribute. See that you cannot delete here and you cannot delete this attribute shape. So uh, uh, FID represents uh, uh, fields, uh, is uh, polygons uh, uh, ide ide identification number. So uh, it's identification number of vector object so each record has its own fid and it starts from zero not from one so i uh, select the country data set in the catal tree set the view window uh, setting to metadata now we will work with metadatas uh, i uh, will um, uh, i will um, repeat that metadata is a data about data it's short information of a spatial data set so the that the metadata document belonging to this data set appears in the view window. So let's go to uh, the country. Where is it? Country oh, here is our country. So let's go to description. Uh, here we can find the meta information about the metadata. It's actually it's empty, but we will fill here. Like what kind of information is stored under each of the three tabs of the metadata document? Actually, uh, under the three tabs. So we can f here print uh, metadata. We can edit metadata here. So we change metadata and we can import it here. So I will not write uh, the answer to this question. Uh, you can write it by your own. Write down the attributes of this data set. So uh, actually, uh, in the latest version of the ArcGIS, uh, the, this, uh, this information is skipped. Uh, this function is skipped. So we can find the attributes of the spatial data set only here, not here. OK, so in, but in the previous versions, you can find uh, uh, you, you, you could find here that uh, the information about the, the attributes which which with the name of the attribute and the the type data type of attribute etc so uh, what what is the data type of the attribute num so uh, the data type of attribute num we can know, know by here it's text it contains text information what are the coordinates of the, mo the most south east part of the country, lower, lower right corner? Uh, we, in metadata, we can also find information about the coordinates, uh, the extent of the coordinate. What are the coordinates of the most south east? So uh, here's the south and here's the east. So the south east coordinate is the most south east coordinate. Here uh, is uh, south east coordinate is the most southeast most southeast coordinate is uh, 
it's written in degrees and this one so uh, if you browse through the metadata of the country data set you will notice that the metadata document is far from complete you will uh, in our case it's totally empty uh, you will now use the metadata editor to create some information that is missing click on the description tab in the metadata document description tab here uh, you will now use the uh, click the description on the, the and some and summary for this met still required summary uh, for this doc that is still quite check this so uh, let's just at first make a print screen of this uh, of this uh, window open the metadata editor click on the edit section and select the general tab uh, go to the description uh, click the edit uh, so um, let's go to edit actually uh, this uh, edit. so go to the description abstract text box uh, here it's our uh, this description abstract and uh, now can uh, text now you can type your abstract something like this. that that supplies information about the uh, 14 provinces of the country so i just copy here and put it here and now i can save my information and see that the, my metadata is edited so let's make a print screen save your edits and confirm that our metadata is changed we can also write name of people who created and contributed to the research go to the credits text box and write your name and surname save your edits so uh, let's open again edits and uh, you can write your name and uh, uh, surname by this you can make a copyright uh, you can show that uh, the the partial data set was created by this or those author so uh, can also I we just made this uh, we can we can also show that uh, uh, the metadata credits have been changed uh, again confirm the change in your metadata are close our catalog so uh, we confirm the change and we now uh, the first tutorial is uh, finished so this is the basic information about our catalog you can work with metadata we can uh, work with tables uh, you, you find out what kind of spatial data sets uh, are often used in arcgis raster vector and lie mostly we will work with raster and uh, uh, vector data sets so this end of, this is the end of the first